has the point after. We're nearing the two-minute warning in the fourth. The Ravens, 56. The Giants, nothing. This will be down to the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Manning hands it off straight ahead. I am a little surprised with that call. Now, at this point in the game, when you know that not only is the defense working against you, but so is the clock. A run call here probably is not a very good idea. Going down the middle with it. Picked off! Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Uh, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him, but... When you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. And it looks like this touchdown may be coming back. Here's the call. Another touchdown. This is out of hand. Back. And that's a good call because it's such a dangerous play. It's rough enough when you get blocked in the back, but when you get blocked below the waist in the back, that can lead to injury. Rice on the handoff. He's wrestled down around the 24-yard line by Phillips. The pocket collapsing. Takes a handoff and tackled immediately. He's searching for a receiver. Touchdown, Baltimore Ravens. And they will add to this already huge lead. It hasn't exactly been a shootout today, that's for sure. But sometimes, that's just how it goes in the NFL. Extra point is good. With just over a minute to go in regulation, the score is the Ravens, 63. The Giants, nothing. He'll down it in the end zone. Throws it deep down the left side. And even though the blitz didn't get there that time, it just accelerated that clock in the quarterback's head forced him to throw it out there a little bit sooner than he want and led to the incompletion. Looking for a man. What do they have to do on offense to stop giving up sacks? I simply think this is one of those games where you're just overmatched on the offensive line. You know it, the defense knows it, the coaching staff knows it, and there's just nothing you can do. Webb fields it at the 29. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. They go with the run. Stiff off. 
He's dropped down around the 48-yard line by Cofield. He takes a knee. The Ravens will take their final time out. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Blint Center was there for the stop. They're back on top. The Baltimore Ravens are Super Bowl 46 champions. Last year, this team was ousted from the postseason by the Pittsburgh Steelers, their bitter division rival, in a bitter defeat that featured fumbles and drop passes and frustration. But this season, they were able to use that loss and those mistakes as motivation and came back more determined than they've ever been. What a thrill for the fans of this brutal AFC North powerhouse whose menacing defense has intimidated all comers for years. It's time to celebrate, Charm City. Your Ravens stand alone atop the NFL once again as champions. What a moment for every single one of these men who have dreamed from the very first time they put on a helmet what it would be like to live this moment. The sound of the final whistle, a declaration of victory, while fireworks bellow high in the night sky around them. This moment, witnessed by the world, when they can truly call themselves Super Bowl champions. This game's big plays and magical moments are now part of NFL lore, to be replayed over and over again. A highlight reel of charged memories that show that this team was capable of taking hold of this moment capable of becoming historic and on the other sideline the creep of doubt and second guessing brought on by heartbreak that they came within one win of immortality only to see the stars had written a different script one in which their daydreams of victory were dashed what a feeling for these players an ongoing sense of accomplishment they'll carry with them their entire lives and a victory this community can forever cherish. It's a win that has eluded so many superstars who have tried, and these men now know it is a gift to rise to the top, to exist even for a second at such a rare height. A bond has been formed that can never be broken, and the spoils are immeasurable.